Hey, what's up everybody? Steven here and today I'm going to be giving you guys another top 10. This time around, we're going to center it around Adam Sandler since the fact that his new film Blended comes out this weekend. And we all know that Adam Sandler can give us some really, really great comedies and some really, really bad shitbox movies. So what we're going to be doing today is counting down Adam Sandler's best movies of all time. Top 10. And as always guys, this is my list. If you guys want to group it, comment below and let me know what your top Adam Sandler movies are. Here we go. So coming in at number 10, we have The Waterboy, which comes in at a staggering 35% on the Ryan Tomato meter. In this film, Adam Sandler plays an endearing waterboy for a college football team and discovers that he has an incredible tackling ability. He later becomes a part of the team against his mother's wishes and the rest is comedic gold. The premise is completely ridiculous, but it still remains as one of Adam Sandler's most memorable, quotable, and defining comedies of his career. Coming in at number nine, we have Funny People at 68% easily one of Adam Sandler's highest rated films. In this one, Adam Sandler plays a character that's very similar to himself who started off as a stand-up comedian and later on turned into a big movie star. The character then discovers that he has cancer and he only has a few months to live. The reason this film is rated higher than most of Adam Sandler's other films are the fact that it was directed by Judd Apatow who is known to make comedic gold films, which usually have a lot of heart and meaning behind them, which is something that we see lacking in Adam Sandler's usual films. Coming in at number 8, we have Big Daddy at 40%. From a character standpoint, this is probably Adam Sandler's best comedy. The life of a loser who ends up having to take care of a child could have gone either way, but for most people, this is one of Adam Sandler's best comedies and has a lot of people laughing. It's also pretty damn heartwarming with a feel-good ending. Coming in at number 7, we have Hotel Transylvania at 45%. A film that both adults and children can enjoy, Adam Sandler plays Dracula as an aging father dealing with his daughter growing up. This is by far Adam Sandler's best animated film and he gives Dracula a bit of charm that allows you to sympathize and root for him. Coming in at number 6 is Spanglish at 53%. Spanglish is another one of those films that shows off Adam Sandler's rare dramatic side. The film revolves around a woman and her child who moved from Mexico to the United States to better their lives. The woman starts working for a chef played by Adam Sandler and his wife. And the reason this film works is that it has a cool mixture of comedy and drama. The film also allows Adam Sandler to show off his creative side. His performance in the film was a huge change from his other films, which surprised everyone and showed off his acting ability. Coming in at number 5 is Happy Gilmore at 60%. The 1996 romantic comedy had Sandler playing a rejected hockey player who became a golfer in order to save his grandmother's house. Not a very complicated premise, but the film still holds up to this date. It has stood the test of time and is easily one of Sandler's most quotable movies. Coming in at number 4 is The Wedding Singer at 67%. Although extremely corny, out of all of Adam Sandler's romantic comedies, this one is one of the best and most charming. Set in the 1980s, Sandler plays Robbie Hart, a wedding singer who falls in love with a waitress at a reception hall played by Drew Barrymore. It's the first time that we see the two together and we see that their chemistry is like no other. It's by no means a comedy masterpiece, but it's simple by design and funny in execution. And it also gave us the chance to see Sandler go for more than just easy laughs. Coming in at number 3, we have Billy Madison at 46%. Watching Billy Madison is like watching a 90 minute great Saturday Night Live sketch. It easily became Adam Sandler's big breakout scene and it launched Sandler into bigger and sometimes better things. The premise is simple about a kid that had to go back to grade school to get his education in order to take over his father's company. Coming in at number 2 is Rain Over Me at 64%. This is just one of the few dramatic roles Sandler has taken over the years and it's a damn shame because he shows off here how serious of a good actor he can actually be. The story of two old friends who are reunited in a post 9-11 New York, Sandler plays a grief-stricken man who has lost his wife and children after the attack. It's one of the few times that Sandler has received acclaim for his dramatic skills. And the number one best Adam Sandler film of all time by me is 50 First Dates at 44% on Rotten Tomato. This 2004 comedy reunites Sandler and his wedding singer co-star Drew Barrymore. Sandler plays a veterinarian named Harry Roth who has serious commitment issues. He meets Drew Barrymore's Lucy Whitmore and falls in love with her right away. But there's one problem, a year ago Lucy had an accident and she suffers from retrograde amnesia. So she's stuck thinking that every day is October 13th of the previous year. Every day she wakes up with no memory of the day before and it's Adam Sandler's job to make her fall in love with him all over again. It's funny, romantic, and once again shows why Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler make a great comedic team. So there you have it folks, Adam Sandler's top 10 films of all time by me. As always, remember that it's my list, my top 10. Hopefully you guys agree. If you don't, let me know below 
what your top Adam Sandler films are. If you'd agree with my list, let me know. Steven, you're correct. If you think I'm completely wrong and batshit insane, hey, feel free to let me know. And as always, guys, hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know below also if you're going to be checking out Adam Sandler's new film, Blended. As always, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.